Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to detail a cafe. Now before I get into this Map Editor tutorial, I just want to say a few things about uh, the channel news video. Um, when Manene made that, he did make it very negative. As you guys can obviously tell, I can make videos per se. Um, I'm not sure how often I will be able to make them. I'm thinking I'm going to be able to cut my posting schedule down from Friday and Wednesday to just Wednesday. So that's what I would expect for me over the next couple weeks and throughout the summer till, you know, probably two, three weeks before I can probably build my desktop. And then once I get my desktop built, it'll really just be uh, based on how much free time I have, which is also reduced because I now have a job. So anyway guys, let's get into this tutorial and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to post every Wednesday. So, as you guys probably may have noticed already, uh, these are the two cafe buildings. This one's cafe number one, even though it doesn't even say cafe, and this is cafe number two. And so these are both very similar, uh, pretty much the same layout on both of them. Uh, there's a sort of kitchen area back there with um, some sort of... Uh, counter where you can buy the stuff and then there's some sort of seating area which makes up you know most of the cafe building now these builds and details are going to be very similar to what we did with the fast foods places so anyway let us start with the kitchen now this is going to be very very similar as I said before um, today I'm just going to be using these two and I will place them inside this cafe building mostly because why the heck not and also this one is a little tighter so it will be a little harder to ration out space so let's just start by arranging the the countertops here that's generally where I like to start just because they do take up uh, most of the room now obviously these countertops are going to be a little awkward here because there's not a really good spacing in between here. They don't match exactly. So I'm going to err on the side of leaving space towards the wall. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it'll help fit the fridge in a little lot better. So let's put the fridge here. Um, obviously they're going to have to be pretty cramped because there isn't that much room. And I'm only going to have one fridge there. So next I'm going to be putting, let's say, uh, let's put a stove. Um, I'm not going to put a dishwasher in, uh, especially because this kitchen is really just very cramped. But I will put in a second stove because, you know, maybe I'm thinking of this more as a bakery type cafe. Of course, you guys can do whatever and stylize them however you want. But that's pretty much how I'm thinking of this one just for now. Of course, you guys can do whatever and sort of make them specialty cafes if you want. So one last thing to uh, finish the kitchen is I'm going to sort of put in overhead countertops. Now I'm sure if you guys have played single player you have seen these in one or two of the houses and pretty much the best way to do this is just by copy pasting uh, one of these counters up here, one of these ones obviously not the sink and then just copy pasting them over until you know it fills the area right above the sink and this works really well uh, just to fill the space up better and you know it gives you a lot more uh, counter access you know instead of just the two now you've got five and you know it makes it a little more creative for your build as well so uh, before we go too much farther I'm just gonna plop in this register here obviously we don't need a counter for that because there's already sort of a, a counter here and um, this is one going to be one of the places that it's going to be hard to center and get you know right in the middle. So we are going to have some overlap right here, but uh, that that'll be fine. We can just leave that alone. Also, since we've got a lot more countertop here, what I will do is I'm going to put a espresso machine down um, because of course it's a coffee shop almost. It's a cafe, so why not? That'll definitely fit in with the style of the of the building and I will also put maybe not a microwave because that's that's generally not a very classy thing to have inside a restaurant but what but I will put a toaster down 
uh, also on one of the countertops as well. So pretty much what we need to do next is just decide how we want to decorate this area. Now it is a cafe so it can be pretty casual. It, you can also just fill it nicely with rows of tables and chairs. So it really just depends. Now uh, to be a little more creative with this cafe I mainly put this shelf out here as something you could use in the kitchen but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in a mock bookshelf like for example if I would detail this fully I would put books on it and everything like that. Now because this is a tutorial obviously I'm not going to spend all the time it would take to put the books on because that does take quite a while but you know this is one of the another cool things that you guys can do with your builds just to make them more unique now I'm not gonna fill this entire area with bookshelves I'm gonna leave a bit of area right here um, for a table because you know it's always a good thing to have a table inside your cafes and eating areas and I will put chairs around this as well let me go grab some alright grab some chairs and I'll place these down as fast as possible doing the whole copy paste method and then just rotating them alright so there's a basic table down it still leaves enough room for you know the bookshelves and possibly some other seating over here um, and it leaves quite a bit of room right over here as well so there's a couple options we could do we could put another table right over here that would definitely not be out of place so for example if we wanted to we could just straight up copy this entire setup uh, let's get it on transform instead of rotate and we could just in fact rotate it just to make it you know so it's not an exact copy so this would be perfectly fine you could also try to incorporate some sort of couch inside of that area that would have been perfectly fine as well I may put a couch right here just to make this area more of like a lounge more relaxed and this really especially works because you know it's sort of like a Starbucks now you know you've got the nice chill bookshelves and you've got nice seating areas and you know you've got good uh, couches and stuff so that's pretty much all we need for this area um, one more thing I might put down uh, it's kind of unusual not many people do this but you can put these little side tables here and guys don't worry about blocking off the bookshelves too much they're not really meant to be functional in this sort of situation they're more of just decorational so I mean it's it's not gonna be out of place to actually just block them off put furniture in front of them it's not gonna be too bad but uh, definitely uh, you can definitely set it up this way so I'm gonna put some lamps out here just to sort of cap off that casual feel uh, I'll put a smaller lamp right here maybe as you're drinking your coffee you can just casually you know read a book I'm also gonna put a lamp or two right around here set apart this area as sort of a lounge area so this is pretty good for you know a cafe it's definitely a relaxed cafe these are obviously pretty easy to decorate I mean there's it's it's all pretty simple I just suggest that you guys try to be as creative as possible with these spaces because because it's so simple it can get kind of boring and repetitive so you know obviously add in like books and chess and other interesting things to make the, your area more unique obviously you can add some of this uh, shelf and uh, couch areas you can do some unique things with the kitchen and you know do all of these things to make your builds unique alright guys so that's pretty much it for this video uh, there's not much more I need to do you can pretty much just replicate this with a different layout in this other cafe shop there's no real point in me doing this you know any more than I've done this one already because this is very well detailed besides the bookshelves obviously I you know could add a lot of books in there but guys this is pretty nice truthfully if you look around the space is filled nicely we've got a lot of detail you know we've got chests, we've got lamps we've got destructible objects as well like the coffee the uh, toaster the register even and so this is just gonna make a really nice um, cafe area where you know it, it'll just look really good on your map so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and liked it if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more I will see you all later